told in the Jeremiah the 12th chapter. Because Jesus came, sisters and brothers, and once he came, he left a system to fix this vineyard, but they didn't deal with it. Jeremiah chapter 12. Because the first thing to fixing the problem, sisters and brothers, is to find out that you have a problem. Yes. As long as you keep blaming somebody else, you don't have no problem. So you're doing the same thing that got us kicked out in the first place. Lying on the lawn. Don't want to keep his commandments. Want to do whatever you want to do. Abusing and taking advantage of people. Sometimes I catch myself, well, you know, these young folks just killing one another because they don't know better. But then Israel killed one another all the time. It ain't nothing new. Verse 7. Jeremiah 12, we're going to start reading at verse 7. Go ahead. I have forsaken mine house. That's what the Lord said. Look here. I don't look at this vineyard. It is full of mess. I have forsaken my house. Go ahead and read. I have left mine heritage. Uh -huh. I have given the dearly beloved of my soul into the hand of her enemies. Who gave God's Dearly beloved people in the so, uh, to the hands is in. The Lord did. The Lord did. Go ahead and read. Eight. My heritage is unto me as a lion in the forest. Uh -huh. It cried out against me. That's why he did it. He said, just like a, a lion, it cries out against me. I done gave it everything it's supposed to have, but still it's crying out against me. Go ahead and read. Therefore have I hated, hated it. Oh, the Lord hated Israel there for a minute, yes, didn't he? His dearly beloved. Yes, sir. But because of his dearly beloved behavior, he said, therefore have I hated it. This is what people are going to say. Well, you know, the Lord is love. He came hate. He created hate. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read. Nine. My heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. Uh -huh. The birds round about are against her. Uh -huh. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field. Come to devour. This is not just like a speckled bird. That means you're a bird that don't fit nowhere. All the other birds around about you are against you. Why? Because your God made it that way. You can't hang with the white bird because you black with white spots. You can't hang with the black bird because you're black with white spots. So don't nobody want to be bothered with you. Whether you here among the Gentiles or whether you were the, the sons of Ham or anybody else, don't nobody want to be bothered with you. That is right. Because your God put it like that. Let you know that, look, you got to come to me. You cannot survive without me, Israel. Other people can go and do other, but not you. Not us. Make it plain. Go ahead and read. Verse 10. Uh -huh. Many pastors have destroyed my vineyard. Oh, so who done destroyed this vineyard? And they're still doing it. They find the Gentile tomorrow. You're going to be worshiping. Most Israel are going to be hemmed up in the church on Sunday, worshiping the sun. And you expect your God to overlook that? You know better. You know better. The pastors know better. Anytime you are new enough to deceive a whole group of people, yes. you know enough to enlighten them. So many pastors have destroyed my vineyard. Go ahead and read. They have trodden my portion underfoot. Uh -huh. They have made my pleasant portion a desolate wilderness. They have made my pleasant portion a desolate wilderness. That means you ain't got nothing. You have no understanding. You don't know where you come from. You don't know where you're going. You don't know how to exist in between. You are a people void of knowledge. And your pastors make sure of that. When somebody teach the Bible, well, you don't understand what they say. For a person that's supposed to teach a document, this person acts real strange with this document. That's the only preacher's, the preacher's only job is to teach this book. Ain't no other job. He ain't supposed to be no finance advisor to you. He ain't supposed to get off into telling you how to treat your wife and your husband and your children. It is written in the book. If you teach it, it will fix it. Many pastors, sisters and brothers, have destroyed. Now, let me show you whose vineyard this is. Let's go on to the Songs of Solomon. Songs of Solomon. Are we supposed to know this? There are people uh, that come to you, oh, brother, who you, how is it that you have all this knowledge? You are highly blessed. No, I'm just doing my job. 
like you're supposed to be doing your job. I ain't got nothing that you ain't supposed to have. This is Israel's job to be preached. And we had better get on it because we didn't pay no attention to what the Lord did to Jonah. We didn't pay no attention to it. When you run away from him, he punishes you. And then when he gets through with the punishment, you still got to do the same job. Ain't no thing as, uh, well, you know, Lord, you're in punishment now. I guess I guess uh, I didn't pay for my uh, uh, short coming. Yeah, and if you don't do it, you're going to pay again. <laughs> and if you don't do it, you're going to pay again. And I'm going to keep making you pay until you do what I sent you to do. And that's the way the Lord operates, sisters and brothers. Sons of Solomon, the first chapter and first verse, one and one. Okay, read it. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon's. The Songs of Songs, which is Solomon. Skip down to verse 5 and go ahead. I am black but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, uh -huh. as the tents of Kedar, go as ahead. the curtains of Solomon. Uh -huh. Look not upon me because I am black. Now look, sisters and brothers, we're going to read. Now you get the people with these modern Bibles, they're going to cut this up and make this woman here a, uh, a Shulamite, some strange woman, black woman. No, we're going to find out who this is. That's addressing the daughters of Jerusalem. Yes. So now, I'm black but calmly, oh, you daughters of Jerusalem. Look not on me because the, uh, I'm black. Go ahead and read. Because the sun has looked upon me. You ever known the sun to look upon anybody and make them black? <laughs> no, sisters and brothers, that's a metaphor. Go ahead and read. My mother's children were angry with me. Uh -huh. They made me the keeper of the vineyards. Uh -huh. But my own vineyard have I not kept. Now, okay, we done fell back to that vineyard thing, haven't we? Yes, here? sir. So my mother's children was angry with me, and they made me keeper of other vineyards. Why my own vineyard have gone unkept. We're going to find out who this is that's black and talk about his mother's children. Let's go on to 69th chapter of Psalms. Psalm chapter 69. Back right up. Because we have to understand this, sisters and brothers. Because we got to know who is the fault. Where the fault lies. We got to know who the, uh, 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 the, the, the uh, disobedient people are and why that we are in trouble. Because if you don't ever know why you're in trouble, you don't ever know how to fix it. I make plenty of money, but I stay broke. Why? Maybe you should sit down and take a, uh, take a look at your spending habits. Every dollar can be spent, no matter how many. So if you don't know how to fix the habit, don't know what the problem is, you can't fix it. 69 and verse 4. This is Solomon, uh, uh, David talking, but we're going to find out who this is that's talking by the mouth of David. Verse 4, go ahead. They that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. Uh huh. The, they that would destroy me, being my enemies wrongfully, are mighty. Then I restored that which I took not away. Uh, whoever this is, he said he's hated without a cause. His enemies are strong. And he oppressed them, and he said he still restored that which he took not away. Yes. We'll deal with that in another lesson. I'm just, we just find out who's doing the talking here. Skip down to verse 7. Verse 7 and go ahead. Because for thy sake I have borne reproach. Uh -huh. Shame has covered my face. Now he's talking to the Lord here. For thy sake I have borne reproach and shame has covered my face. Go ahead and read. I am become a stranger unto my brethren. I'm become a stranger unto my brethren. And an alien unto my mother's children. Oh, they're that mother's children here again, isn't it? Yes, sir. So my mother's children have made me the keeper of other vineyards while I have kept while my own vineyard has gone unkept. Yes. Why is it? Is it because I've become an alien to my brother and a stranger to my mother's yes, children? Sir. They don't know me. And look how this thing is. He said, I am become. That means he wasn't a strange and alien all the time. I am become. Go ahead and read. Verse 9. For the zeal of thine house has eaten me up. For the zeal of thine house has eaten me up. Go ahead. And the reproaches of them that reproach thee uh -huh. have fallen upon me. And the reproaches of them that reproach you have fallen upon me. Let's go and see who's been doing all this talking about black and his mother's children. And uh, uh, he become a stranger. And the reproaches of them that reproach the father have fell on him. Let's go into Romans, the fifth chapter. We're going to let this Bible talk to you, sisters and brothers. 
because it's obvious that you won't listen to, well, you ain't listening to that. But we're going to let it talk anyway. Romans, the fifth chapter. Romans chapter five. Because you have people that don't even want to go to church no more because they think something wrong with the Bible. Ain't nothing wrong with the Bible. Like the Lord said, many pastors have destroyed my vineyard. The ones that's commissioned to restore and turn out a real good, healthy, and vibrant product is the one that's polluting the product. Verse 3, 2, verse 2, go ahead. By whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand. Is this, I said 5 and what? It's 5 and 2. I said Romans what? And verse 2? Mm -hmm. This is not where I'm going. 15? Okay, Romans 15. Give me a pencil here so I won't make this mistake. I get... Let me tell you something. I do all these lessons over again, and I get so hung up in them sometimes, I forget who I am. But I know what ain't right. Okay, 15 and 2. Uh, 15 and 2. I'm straight now. I forgot to put my one in front of the five. Romans 15 and 2. Because... Sisters and brothers, these are important. This, everything here is important to me. I study these things. I mean, I don't care. I think the last time I did it was 2008. But when it come around, I study these things because I want to make sure that I don't give you any misinformation. Verse 2, go ahead. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. And we're supposed to be trying to help our neighbor as well as ourselves. But let us do like our Lord did. Go ahead and read. For even Christ pleased not himself. For even Christ pleased not himself. But as it is written. But as it is written. The reproaches of them that reproached thee uh -huh. fell on me. The reproaches of them that reproached thee fell on me. In other words, the sin that they committed, I had to pay the price. I was the one that did not take eternal life from you. Adam took it from you in the Garden of Eden, but I restored it. That's what he's telling you. I restored that which thou took, uh, took not away. So who is this that said I'm black, but come, Lord, you dogs of Jerusalem? Jesus, mm -hmm. sister and brother. Yes, sir. And then it's Jesus that said, you have made me the keeper of other vineyards. Why my own vineyards going unkept? Why? It's because of your sin, sisters and brothers. He, he looked for grapes, and he brought forth wild grapes. Wild grapes. Yes, sir. Now, he's just going to tell this thing. He's going to bring this thing from the beginning and run it on down. Let's go on to the 80th chapter of Psalm. 